Hey guys, I hope all is well. Today I want to make a really quick video from here and just teach you guys how to get the balance from an account through MetaMask into your web application. Um, so last video we did was we this last video we did was basically this right here. We were able to hook up MetaMask and we we're able to get the account from MetaMask from here. So the way this stands right now, if I save this and I go back to my application, when I hit this button, we're gonna see my account, my wallet right there, my public uh, key, and that corresponds with the account that's hooked up on MetaMask from there. Um, do keep in mind, make sure that your current account is connected because you can switch accounts from here, but the old account is still connected through the web app. Um, but just keep that in mind. So let's say that I have the account here, but I want to check their balance within the web app. So a couple different ways I can go about it. Um, the, we're only going to do one right here. So the main way really is we're going to declare a variable here. Let's say let balance. And this is going to be an await function. We're going to say window.web3. And we're going to say dot eth dot get balance with a capital B and we're gonna pass in accounts with position zero. So essentially if we really wanted to extract this account out to a string, we could plug in there too. But right now we're just plugging it into the method from there. And let's just go ahead and console log the balance. And then we can comment this out right from there. Save and let's go back to our app from here. Get account and we can see that now we have the balance being printed to the console from there. Now, obviously, this isn't the same number because because this is in way. So let's go ahead and convert that over to um, let's convert it from way to actual ETH. So back to here. So, so with this Web three here, there's different utilities that we can use. So let's declare let uh, let's say ETH balance. Let's change this to something like you know weight balance just to keep things more clear. And this is going to be equal to window dot Web three. Oops. We'll know that web three, and we're going to say utils dot, and we're going to say from way, and we're going to pass in way balance from there. And then we'll just put this in the console. Let's go ahead and save this. And if we go back to our app from here, and we hit this, now we can see that this corresponds to the same number that is right here. Right? Um, also, keep in mind, like I said, this can work with different EVMs. Like if I switch over to Theta. We can see, I believe I have 290 T-fill in this account. If I hit the button again, we can see if that value changes from there, all right? If you guys learned something from here, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a great day.